So here we have my fireplace, my Star Ace figures, Sirius Black I had for my husband last year and Harry and Ron I bought a couple of years ago. My Hogwarts Running Club medal for doing the Sirius Half Marathon 21k. My delightful mirror of Erised. My little Niffler. He is so cute. I love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. And Forks. Just watching one of my crystals there which needs to be put back. But Forks the Phoenix and my latest addition to my Star Ace Dumbledore. Isn't he just gorgeous? Down here then, I have my letters. These are actually um, reusable stickers. My newest Harry Potter edition. Isn't he just so cute? And as you can see, I like my owls. So that is, that is my fireplace. My Ravenclaw cushion. My favourite picture. The one that my sister took when we were on the set of Daphne Hallows Part 2. Everyone knows about this picture. Over here we have my some of my photos. Literally, I have nowhere else to put them. I have got loads. Um, they're all signed. I've got so many pictures. There's my Richard Harris one. He's lovely. Robbie Coltrane, Rupert Grint, Daniel Radcliffe. Warwick Davis. I have his autograph twice because I actually met him last year. Uh, Michael Gambon. Apparently there is some debate on whether this autograph is genuine. I, I was given it as a gift. I didn't buy it. But obviously Alan Rickman. My little Chamber of Secrets display that I did myself. Oh God. My little characters. That is a letter from to a Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Scott from Madame Pomfrey. It's the actual actress who um, played Madame Pomfrey. I can't remember her name. And I've got a few little things in my LED tree. My Death Eater mask. My Hogwarts book. Nina Lima. I've got Owls, Pigwigian. Some of my pops. Again, I have a lot of pops. And then I have the Sorting Hat. My DVD box set, Bloomsbury, Bro Brooms. My beautiful music box from moving from uh, Valentine's Miniatures. I am currently having my Dumbledore one made at the moment. It's going amazingly. I can't wait to have it and show it with you guys. He is here for now. I don't really know what to do with him. My talking sorting hat from Waterstones. Sign behind there, and then I've got a few things down here. I've got my rucksack that was handed out to the press at the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone launch. It's probably gone up in value a lot now since the 20th anniversary of the book. I've got a few things here again, more Mina Lima stickers, my Mina Lima magnets that I got yesterday. My husband Adam bought me that yesterday. It's a metal sign. So, what else have I got? Okay, so. Here is my Ottoman. I've got my Fantastic Beast Limited Edition piece. This was in the promotional suitcases um, for the Fantastic Beast release. I love this. I wanted the entire suitcase, but I just can't afford the prices they're asking. Not with a holiday to plan and everything as well for next year. I just, I just can't afford it. I got a few pops. Got this here. This is beautiful. This is. It's like a little game. It's from 50, is it 52 or 54 studio or something i can't remember it's called i've got little philosopher's stones in there and all these like little things here that some of them come out where is it oh there's one and you have to find the missing key these spin it's all china oh china it's porcelain it's really beautiful and um, so just this is just a decorative trunk i love this it's got loads of stuff in there for the Yule dance for their for people's IDs and stuff. So that's just where I'm keeping it at the moment. Over here, I have my new handbag from my friend Maria, who actually made this. Look at that. Um, it is absolutely amazing. Somebody in the Harry Potter studios actually ran up to her and offered her £150 for the bag. Um, and she said no. But she gave it to me because she didn't like the size. She's actually made herself a smaller one. She's not doing them for anybody. Um, she's not reproducing them or anything. But this, it is just perfect. I love it. Anyway, so I've got a few things here. This is from Primark. I had this last Saturday. My daughter picked it up for me. And these mugs again from Primark. And then I've got my trunks. 
this trunk is available from it's, it's on you can get it on ebay sometimes but it, it's like 120 150 pound i don't know where they come from i don't know when they were produced um but they are gorgeous with the handle see my cat's thinking this i got my own little crook shanks look um and then i've got yeah so i don't know i don't know where you'd find them okay. ebay so i don't know where you'd get this from i've only ever seen them available on ebay um they are gorgeous really gorgeous they're so well made there was no key with this one though and um, there was a bit of damage at the top but it's so nice i think i paid 129 quid for it anyway this is my mini newt scamander suitcase for my little boy he loves newt this is obviously my um my handbag from retro styler and adam bought me this quidditch lunch box when he was at a con this week and my daughter bless her bought me that color changing um glass from mankind um it's actually the second one i've got she didn't realize i had two but i didn't care because i love them i've got my bag sorting hat down there when my cat roxy gets out of the way Rox. hello okay what else right we come to my cabinets oh look at all this i've got professor mcgonagall's um costume on my door um harry slytherin robes and my ravenclaw robes underneath there so right there's not that much over here really that you haven't already seen um i uh, got this the other day my crew pass open this are you gonna open or are you just gonna be a pain in the ass hey okay so we have my skelly grow made uh, by i think it was hobby hobby store online My Woodsbane potion that my mum's ashes used to be in, but she's actually in a willow tree now, lover. My snake. In my original piece of Devil's Snare from the Philosopher's Stone. I have this by Hallmark, still sealed. My Hedwig in the background, then my um, Hogwarts pen. And obviously my Slughorn Hourglass. And then we go down to the next one. My Tri Wizard Cup, that is actually metal, it's really nice. My dragons, my beautiful golden dragon egg from Goblet of Fire, which is actually a musical trinket box. My 24 karat gold plated um, golden snitch puzzle piece. My Tri Wizard, the Tri Wizard uh, tournament, the Goblet of Fire, sorry, there. Snape, Harry, and then this little music box which actually plays Harry Potter music, but you need two hands to do it. Then further down, I've got my magical creatures. In there, if you can see, is my Ollivander's box. They were actually handed out. They were, there was too many made apparently, and um, they were handed out the Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone premiere. They're from the actual film. Um, if you can get one with a COA, they're worth about eight hundred pound. My Patronus bottle of wine that I had as a thank you. How gorgeous is that? Nearly Headless Nick and Harry. My fever, my fudge flies. <laughs> this is broken, look. I got my Hogwarts castle down here. My beautiful, my fantastic beasts uh, wand. Then I've got my Uno Poo sweets, which are actually really nice. And those whizzing whizbies. They aren't bad. However, I prefer the fudge flies. Um, that green box there is the wand that was handed out at the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone premiere uh, in America. So that's glass cabinet one done. So above glass cabinet one, we have a shoe worn by Maggie Smith in the Goblet of Fire. We have my beautiful diadem from harry potter and the deathly hallows part two we've got i think norbert the dragon up there Grawp, dolores umbridge that figure is worth quite a bit of money there is only one in every 20 or 30 made 
so they are they're quite rare I've got grey back there and obviously my sideshow collectible um, my, sorry my star ace collectible boxes my interdepartmental memo from David Lamb on eBay and I've got my Ravenclaw notebook in there my tea set my Hogwarts my Griffin, my uh, not Gryffindor, my Quidditch set that was given to me by Moving Pictures Exeter. They didn't want it anymore. Hedwig, my um, Hagrid hatch, which is actually a candle holder. My the newest addition for my collection is the Time Turner, and then in cabinet number two. Oh, I bought this on eBay. It's an item that went, I think, in the American versions of the Loot Crate. Well, see, it's the Fantastic Beast scarf. And I got my Ravenclaw bag there from The Cursed Child, which I went to see last month. Where I met David Simmons for the first time, who does all the foils and stuff, uh, who does all the books and things. Right, I've got Hedwig, Ravenclaw notebook. My uh, replica of Newt Scamander's notebook. My favourite snow globe in the entire world. My other snow globes. My little Legos, my little trinket boxes, my Lego pieces from... God, I can't remember what it's called. The game's called now. Not Disney Infinity. That Lego one. You can get Newt Scamander, you can get the Harry Potter in there, Fantastic Beast ones. I'm really crap with names. My Coca-Cola limited edition clock in the background. Um, I love this clock. Oh, thanks to Kelly, that is. She should have told me about it. I had to get it. This is like my little clock section now. And then further down, we have my bookends here. We have my Royal Dalton figures, Dumbledore, Snape, Harry. Um, I haven't got many Royal Dalton pieces. Obviously, the um, Potter Fortune a few items are broken, sadly. That was inside a, a snow globe, and the snow globe arrived smashed to pieces. So I've rescued the castle, but the snow globe was gone. A hallmark decoration, I've got a few of those. And then down here I've got my Hagrid cookie jar. Uh, that was from a loot crate, it's a, no it's a Fantastic Beasts notebook. My chocolate frog teacup. My Chamber of Secrets Japanese exclusive, which I do love. I've got a few mugs here. These are quite nice. These, you had to save up, you had to collect vouchers to get these from the newspaper, I think, when Harry Potter first came out. They're really nice. They were given to me by Adam's grandmother when she passed away. The family gave them to me, which I love. Um, next cabinet, I have my gorgeous... Yule Ball Japanese exclusive bag which goes with my Japanese exclusive golden egg. So quite excited about that. Adam bought that back from a con the weekend. I'd never seen one before. This was from Loot Crate. It's a bit pointless but I quite like it. Oh, oh god it's so gotta be so bloody careful opening these cabinets. Right, my Hungarian horn tail. No, sorry, um, Ukrainian iron belly. My Hungarian horn tail's over there. Um, the time turner, the locket, my bookmarks from moving picture. Obviously, I've got. No, my Hungarian horn tail is actually there. <laughs> I've got the basilisk. No, that's not the basilisk. That's Nargili. The basilisk's there, and Nargili's there. It's quite scary. My. Um, piece of film reel from Philosopher's Stone, my Deluminator, Harry, my ring, I've got my coins behind there and I've got Harry there, look at that, so cute, and then you go down, again not much of this has changed, I've added a few bits like a few of these figures here, uh, but nothing major has changed, that's Bubble Bath back there, um, Obviously these, again, these haven't really changed. Oh, this lights up, which I think is quite cute. Oh, you can't see it in this light. Let's see if I can do it that way around. There we are, isn't that cool? 
that's available from Retro Styler, that key ring. I've got these, and I've got these further down. These are from Primark recently, um, so I like those. And I've got pins there, Hagrid. That was from Retro, not Retro Styler, sorry, that was from Loot Crate. I've got Birdie Pots Every Flavor Bean uh, cookie jar there. I've got cat potion candles from, uh, potion labels from Moving Pictures. That is from Waterstones. They actually gave that to me when I asked for one from Primark because they've got them at the moment. They just kind of huffed and said, no, you have to put money on it. So I've got a £5 voucher upstairs for, for Primark that's Harry Potter. My Ravenclaw pen. The sword for this is in the picture behind me. Um, what else have I got? I've got a few little bits there all from um, the Loot Crate. So I try and keep it all safe. So that are my three, that's my three cabinets. Um, sorry, my daughter picked up the Big Issue 20th anniversary. It was available uh, last week. See? We've got loads of stuff. What's that? Oh, it's a Weasley Wizard Weasley's badge that fell out. In here we have... I've got the 20th anniversary from... I can't know what that newspaper was, but it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. So in here I've got like, lots of little bits... Um, he's missing a foot, that's why he's in there. We've got little medals and things. Weasley, brooms. In there. I've got the Time Turner kit. Nice, okay, so we've got Chamber of Secrets. I can see this video is going to take forever. Again, I've never, I, I've never counted. I've never finished counting my collection because as soon as I start finishing, as soon as I start counting, I get more stuff through the post, so I've given up. So you tell me how much you think I've got. And the Weasley Wizard Weasel. I love them. But I'm going to take them out because I want to put them somewhere I can. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Coca-Cola bottle. They are rarer if you can get one full. Okay, what we got? These are available at the Harry Potter Studios. We've got, got the Harry Potter passports you can get at the studios. They are for children, but if adults ask for them, they will be given them. Right, this is from the Harry Potter Studios. I got given it. I'm not sure what these are. Theatre theater this summer. It's a pack of promo cards yes. they're mini decorations we've got the harry potter light up one we've got the mini mug uh, harry potter quidditch puzzle harry potter lord voldemort one. Oh, god uh riddler grave i like that so it was only 2.99 in waterstones it's nice that is. that is again is a harry potter a, a warner brothers studio exclusive it's an actual envelope look they use them to demonstrate uh, how they made them pour through the letterbox. There's these from the Harry Potter Studios. These again from the Harry Potter Studios. They are put on all the official books. Um, the stickers are. So I got given this one. And then these are copies of the tickets. But they're not tickets. They're just plain. Of course, in the snow bookmark. This I've never worked out. Um, it's something to do with Pottermore. I love this. This is a Hallmark Christmas decoration. These are one of the first things I had. It was a, a magazine that was uh, released when the films started to be celebrated more. That um, the oh, the other two pieces are up there in that picture frame, as you can see, little figures and spider. So oh, I made that. How cool is that? I haven't painted him yet. I made a couple of them and sent them to my friends. Let's have a look. <coughs> Lots of badges. I've got some snow. Slytherin, 15 year celebration. Again, the whole Do you know what? I could give some of these away actually. In fact, actually, I'll keep them out because I'm going to do a competition to win a few bits. So that's my Dumbledore. Oh no, my Dumbledore. That was my first ever gift from my husband Adam. And he's been so loved. Look at the state of him. My uh, He was on my keys for, for years, but uh, my daughter's given me her one. So there he is. That's what he should look like. <laughs> um, I've got Deathly Hallows. I've got Hermione key ring. Oh, I love this key ring. I've been looking for this. Uh, visitors pass. My um, Ministry of Magic from Peter Lamb on eBay. My Hermione storyteller thing. And she is. Uh, got a few like little things like this, like Harry. This is strange. It's never worked. Although it, no, it might. No, it's never worked. But it's a game, or it was a game. Um, so it's a bit strange. It's got buttons and stuff either side. But I've never really 
I never really got it to work. I like him. I have got a proper one of him, the one that isn't broken. This one lost a foot. It came wrapped in some of my stuff. Neville Longbottom, Draco Malfoy. Yeah. Um, I've got something like that. The cat, this fell off the wall and the whole thing just fell apart. Ooh, we've got things like little Ron pin badge. Ravenclaw postcard, which has seen better days. Oh, I've got these little ornaments that I've never painted, but I quite like them. Snape. Isn't he lush? If you can see them, they go into like a little eye piece and you look through them and they tell you stories. It's Charlotte. Anyway, Charlotte Dukes. My editor, she makes these. She's from Shanetley. These are all Harry Potter themed wax. Smelly wax. But I tell you something, whenever you open this box... The smell is incredible. It's so nice. But I don't want, Charlotte, I'm so sorry, but I don't want to uh, melt them. I like them too much. Oh, Hermione's wand. Right, another bookmark. That's Forbidden Forest bookmark. Well, I've got a mug. Um, a broken Harry, I think. He's lost a hand. Harry Potter trump cards. Again, this is just one box. This is a limited edition potion bag. It's denim. And it shows the bottles from the from the book. If you remember, Snape sets a potions task to get through to the Philosopher's Stone. And this is the bag to celebrate it. This is a lunchbox from the Harry Potter Studios. It actually turns into the night bus. <laughs> oh, I've sent this by Moving Pictures Exeter. It's some um, Serafina Pickery's wand. We've got, oh, it's pictures from Sean Valentine of the... Um, he, this is actually a picture of the... Um, Defense Against the Dark Arts room that he did. Like my music box, but he did a Defense Against the Dark Arts. And he gave me the pictures for them. How beautiful are they? Yeah. Mina Lima stuff. Um, he sent me all these things because he went to the Harry... He lives in Australia and his mum actually saved up to take him to the Harry Potter, um, Harry Potter world in America. And they bought me a load of gifts back. I mean, how nice is that? He's such a sweetheart. He's such a lovely, lovely boy for thinking of me doing all this. Look at that. How amazing are they? All beautiful. We're actually going next year. This is still, still obviously box one. These were given out at the, at the San Diego Comic Con, I think. It's gigantic. It's a celebratory rucksack thing for Fantastic Beasts by Warner Brothers. And Mischief Managed. Uh, mug and I've got all the sticker books from the little trinkets from Waterstone um, and then a load of wands as you can see I'm not going to take them all out Rowena Ravenclaw card um, but I've got all the Fantastic Beasts ones and I've got a few of the ones over there as well okie dokie so we are greeted to uh, items from the Harry Potter um, world in America I do like that bag that's nice. These collections that never materialised. I had the items sent to me. I had him, him. And you've got a load of stuff here. So I've got, what's that? Um, commemorative ticket, 2010. This exclusive commemorative ticket marks the 210 opening of the Wizarding World, Harry Potter. Cursed Child postcard. Um, oh my God. I didn't realise I had these. Barnes and Noble gift cards. Look at that. Harry Potter tours. Another Christmas one. I've got two sets of these. Um, maybe I should give these away. These are the stamps as well. Michael Gamborn picture. Harry Potter celebrate the magic. I think I've got another one of those upstairs as well, actually. This is the American one. Right. Adam got me that. It's pretty nice. My prop store items. Now that jumper is a crew hoodie. Um, I can't what I've done with it. It's probably in here somewhere. If it isn't, it's probably in the one in the homework room. These are my certificate of authenticity of John Hurt. Sadly, love him. Ralph Fiennes. Dave Lagona, I think, isn't that um, greyback. Richard Harris from my friend Steve, who actually goes to premieres and gets the autographs himself. This is cool. I had this at Christmas from a company personalised.com it's a calendar Prison of Azkaban with my name on it 
How cool is Bloom's that? Bloomsbury cards, Goblet of Bloomsbury um, bookmarks, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Daffy Hallows, Coast Child, Prison of Azkaban, bookmarks, uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, cast and crew invite. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Prison of Azkaban. Oh, this is cool. This was a game. Um, and you basically have a magic pen and you go around and you uh, you find places on the map. So I've never played it. I have got the pen, but I've never played that it. That is not his actual autograph. That is a printed autograph. It's a birthday card from Adam, I think. Oh, Adam, Monica and Victor oh, Victoria. Daniel and Harry. Oh, no, lush. This is from Waterstones. He <laughs> has the banner from Chamber of Secrets. Oh, there it is. There we are. Dobby has come to warn you, sir. Chamber of Secrets. Cast and crew screening of Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Leicester Square. Do you know that's the biggest screen I think I've ever seen there? And they've got more bookmarks. Chamber of Secrets. I really need to go through all this stuff. Half Blood Prince. Win a signed copy. Well, that's, again, that's... um. Just an advert. A picture of the boy who lived. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child bag from when I went to get my copy. I love this. There's a guy in, in Hobbycraft in Swansea that makes Harry Potter things. Look at that. Harry Christmas. Isn't that brilliant? He cut that out. The golden snitch. Bless him. I always keep my stuff safe. Oh, this apparently is a limited edition uh, item one of five of the actual Monster Book of Monsters preliminary uh, design. So that's quite cool. I got sent it as a, as a, as a gift. Um, here we have a Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban call sheet. Um, I actually have one from the Half-Blood, uh, not the Half-Blood Prince, the Deathly Hallows that I, because I was there and the, the guy gave us go to us. Oh, I love this, it's a copper drawing of the American version of Harry Potter and the Floss and the Sorcerer's Stone. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, the figure collection magazines that never materialised. The Harry Potter one. My Quidditch set in there. What's that? Oh, my Valentine's miniatures cards. Oh, they're so cute. I totally forgot I had them. Sorry, Sean. Um, Hermione Granger's wand, which actually isn't in there. It's in the other box that we just saw. These were handed out, I think, for the Chamber of Secrets. At cinemas around the UK. I have quite a few of these, but they belong to my kids, so they can't go anywhere. Right, and I've got banners, a Harry Potter crest banners. I've got a couple of Hedwigs. That is an original um, artifact Hedwig. You can actually buy this. Uh, it's real feathers, which is a little bit weird, but it's, it's okay. Right, okay, it's a giant time turner that came with a magazine. So I've got more banners, more banners, more banners. My Honey Dukes um, stickers, which I will be using for the Yule Ball. Uh, yes, I think that's that's trunk number two. 